This is a bus basic number 10. Beautiful case by Armor All Leather. Challenge this week it's going to take a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of deductive reasoning. and a little bit of luck. I've done a number of cardboard trials with this knife to benchmark the edge retention. There's a link in the description to the table and what you have to do is guess the three numbers which indicate how much cardboard this can cut before it reaches 15%, 10%, and 5% of optimal sharpness. And of course the way you do that is look at the table, look at what you know about this knife, figure out where you think it would lie in the table, and then guess the numbers accordingly and whoever gets the closest match to the number basically wins. This knife came with a relatively thin and acute angle for the size of the knife. It was around 35 thou thick behind the edge and at around 15 degrees per side, give or take a little. That's a bit on the heavy side for sort of high skill wood cutting. But it's on the low side for really heavy use type cutting where you're putting a lot more strength and a lot more force and a lot less skill and a lot less knowledge. So for some perspective while these knives do get lambasted an awful lot at times the edge on this was just slightly thicker than the edge on the XM18 that I have with the slicer grind, which is a little tiny folder, and the angle on this was less. Now what I've actually done is put a relief grind into the primary. So the primary grind was flat, and it goes from about here to here. There's a very slight convex in this area right here, the last centimeter or so, which thins out the secondary edge, so it's only around 15 thou thick, and currently it's around 10 degrees per side. That's fine for uh, most woodworking, but if I was going to step it up for heavier stuff, like power chiseling through knots, I'd bring the edge up to around 25 thou. The reason I brought it down as low as this is that I knew I was going to be doing quite a bit of cardboard and other cutting to check the edge retention and of course all that grinding thickens the edge up. So by the time I finish all the edge retention work and light work that I want to do it'll be stable enough like I said 20-25 thou to do the heavier work. So that's the challenge for this week.